Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff. So let's get to it. In the last video, I talked about all the automation writing modes. Today, we're going to just look at Latch Preview because Latch Preview is different than all the other ones. Let's do a quick refresher on what Latch Preview is. Just like Latch, it reads until you start moving faders. Once you start moving faders, it's not writing them, but it's storing their values somewhere. And then you can use some actions to write those values to your envelopes. So one great use of this is when you're beginning a project. So I'm beginning a project, I'm kind of doing a sound check of my project right i have a very simple project here i got some drums and i got a guitar so i want to mix them together the first thing i always like to do is turn everything down all the faders are at minus infinity and then you start sound checking so i'm going to choose a time selection and i'm going to play the track and i'm going to bring my faders up one by one starting with the kick so as you can see Whatever fader I touch goes red, and that means that a value has been now stored on it. Nothing's written onto the envelope, as you can see, but a value has been stored on it. Whatever knob I end up turning will be added as a lane. Now, if I don't want to use this knob anymore, I can just turn it off. Same applies to all the parameters. After that, I'm just going through and I'm setting my levels to where I want them to be. Whoa, that was too much. Let's bring it down. If at any point I'm happy with everything I've done, but there's one thing I don't want there anymore, I just press this and it goes away. If I touch it again, it goes back. So let's say I'm happy with these values as they are. Now these values haven't been written yet, so we need some extra commands. And those extra commands I've already put in my toolbar over here. So go to your actions list and type in write current values for all writing envelopes. And then you get a few options of how to write these. So write, for example, I can write them to the start of project. So that'll be from wherever my cursor is all the way to the start of project to time selection, or I can write it to end of project. So if I'm just automating this bit, then I can just write it to time selection. But as it stands right now, these are my initial values. So I just write them to the beginning and and time selection. And now those values are in here. Another thing we can do is use the same thing for plugins so let's say we got our levels to this section right but let's say at the beginning when there's less stuff going on i want the reverb to be more extreme right so in my reverb i have made all the sense kind of the levels that i want them to be so now i can come here and i can open this up now i'm going to put all my tracks to read this track i'm going to set to latch preview i'll play the track Right, so let's say I'm happy with this reverb value for right here, so I can write it to the time selection. And now that reverb has been written, let's say I wanted by the end to go down when the when the section is kind of a little crazy. So maybe for this part, let's bring up the diffusion, let's bring down the feedback. So now I got those values that I want for my chorus. I'm just doing these really quick just to show you. So now I can just go right current there. For a lot of reverbs and stuff, you don't want those differences to be very sudden. So what I want to do is now smoothen these lines a little bit. So we want to make the transition between those two lines smooth. So I'm just going to delete some envelope points. I'm going to add some envelope points. And that way I will transition from my first reverb setting to my second reverb setting in a gradual way. And now they're a lot more gradual. And we set our levels real quick. If I wasn't explaining this to you this whole thing would take me two minutes so that's lash preview real quick thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye